Hello, and welcome back to Caves of Cud. We are in an interesting and spicy situation, to be honest. Um, I'm hoping we're not enemies. Okay, good. We're not enemies. But dang, if I don't like this situation. This is a... Uh, this is basically... Oh, Jesus. I hate it so much. I hate these crocs. I'm so sick and tired of them. Uh... Hopefully the salt backs can do a bit of j work for us. Cuz I think they're they are fighting them. What is this? Full right flake armor. I think the salt backs will do some damage. Unfortunately, I I think that the Dromad is probably dead. I think I can proselytize without um angering. So we now have a salt back friend. Just see how this is going. So the croc, the saltbacks are apparently no match for the crocs, which is scary. I've been hitting these historic crocs as if they were kind of nothing. That's not true. But um, apparently, yeah, they they just don't seem to be doing the damage. Um, all right. So as soon as uh, the saltback dies, which they will. Mark, yeah, mark my words. They're actually fine. Um, kind of want to. Let's. I'm gonna smack this shale, so we create another opening. You spot a dromad caravan. Amazing. And then we're going to temporal fugue. I have to be careful now because my AV is not as good as it was seconds ago. I'm gonna have to make sure I pick up my. Flawless crystal boots at a certain point. I hope we didn't just anger. Okay, we're still good with the dromads. I'm a little bit worried about my temporal clones. Oh, lower right hand is dismembered. Lower right hand arm is dismembered. Okay, we're sprinting. Wow, they're keeping up with us, huh? Not only keeping up with us, I guess we lost our feet, so our, our movement is down, maybe? Okay, proselytizing this croco. <sighs> Slamming this other croco. Um, I have to leave. Um, we're, we're recoiling. Can't recoil with hostiles nearby. Okay. Back up here, and then we're recoiling. <sighs> and I'm going to have to recoil to Gritgate, because I have to go to Bethesda Susa now, um, and... Try and recover some of my lost parts. Yes, it's worth it. Um, I, I don't want to have to, like, redo some of what I just got done. Um, I guess while I'm there, I'll try using the Flawless Longsword to hand in a quest. I don't think it'll work. I guess I could just make a quick stop at Ezra and Eid Freehold, see if they have a longsword, you know. Um... Can we use this? Doesn't have. Okay, well, we gotta throw a cell into the Ezra recoiler. Throw in a solar cell and activate it. All right. Do you have a long sword? No, you don't. No crystal long sword. Oh, wait a minute. No crystal dagger. Bla uh, blaze injector. I'll definitely take that. I'll always take a, a blaze injector, and I'll take the water skins too. Why not? All right. So no long sword there. We'll go to Eid Freehold real quick. And then I'll go to uh, Great Gate after that. We are not even five minutes in, and I've already lost three limbs. Jeez. Alright, so first I like to do is um, see if I can't buy some more bits. And mods spiked. Eh. I don't know if I know how to make spiked things. Ninefold boots. No. Well, we have a AI master unit. That's great. They have another spiral borer. 
We don't need that. Um, 300 drams on the nose. Well, let's sell those crystal gauntlets. Okay. Don't worry, I don't need the crystal gauntlets because I have flawless crystal gauntlets. Let's check this guy real quick, see if he's got a, uh... No, he just, he just never has a love injector. I don't know where to buy love injectors. They just never seem to be available. Okay, do you have a crystal longsword? Crystal longsword, there it is. Spacer rifle. With some lore that we already know. And a gold nugget. Um, so that's 600. 600 drams. We have a lot of books, don't we? Actually worthy of a trip to the Six Day Stilt. Could sell that Crystal of Eve. I think it, uh, you basically can make um, Sphinx salt injectors with these. Don't think that's actually worth it for us. I'm not sure. Um, let's just sell... I don't think it's worth selling a Taco Suprema for that. I'm going to actually, I'll sell this um, Flawless Crystal Longsword because we know we don't need it. I just realized we actually don't have enough. I'm pretty sure we need four Longswords. We're actually overweight. Really? Because, uh, oh, I have a lot of drams now. Well, I'll buy, I could buy this small cube. Um, sure, let's buy the small cube for just money. Don't know what it, it is, but, you know, I, I love to find out. I, I love a, I love a good box. Uh, you think you broke it. Very good. Very good. All right, apply to the small box. Maybe I'm working with, like, a disadvantage because I have no hands. Do I have no hands right now? No, I have enough hands to hold a weapon. I should be able to examine this. Radio-powered nuclear cell. Well, I guess it's good for the bits. All right. So now let's recoil to Gritgate. And uh, I'm going to go to Bethesda Sousa and try and recover my arms and feet. What a business. What a what a sordid business that I am in. I should, you know what, real quick, I'm going to put this flawless crystal armor in that chest cuz I really don't need it right now and I don't want to have to deal with it. Um, do I have anything else I could stuff in here? Uh, debatably the books, but I'm not going to do that. We're we're at the, we're at the stage now where handing in books is like 100% viable. Um, so, like, I don't really... Oh, we should totally, uh, disassemble all those bits. That's 100%, like, holding us back here. Disassemble all. T, 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 disassemble all. Okay. Someone someday will make a mod that just lets you disassemble all scrap and then uh, it'll just do it. <laughs> that will be a good day for me. What was that? Wadroid. Why? But for what reason? Also, how many... How much... Um, hmm. How, how, many, how much congealed love does that uh, sparking beetle need? Just out of curiosity. Is it five? Yeah, it is five. That's why I haven't done it yet, because that's basically two love injectors worth of uh, con congealed love. And um, I just, yeah, like, I, I need that stuff for myself. Handing it in to a Beetle just doesn't sound worth it. Also, I'm pretty sure they give a Blazing Cannon. Blazing Cannon's super not worth it, because it, it could be anything, and I already have, like, debatably one of the best in the game. There are definitely, there are better, Don't don't get me wrong. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very small jump in progress. 
Okay, so we're gonna need to find ourselves another chamber. I'm pretty sure most of these are not okay. Insufficient cloning draught, so that's that one's not okay. This one, insufficient cloning draught. As time goes on, yeah, most probably the thing that is missing uh, is going to be insufficient. Tank not full. And it's also broken. That one's not bad. Well, okay, if it's empty, if it that means there's zero cloning draw in it. So that's actually, like, worthless. Let's check out this one. Uh, bloody convalescence. No cloning draw. I should just, like, destroy the ones that are not um, viable. I'll keep like once I've used up all of them uh you know I'll keep I'll keep one around but at a certain point they're just kind of gonna kind of get in my way and I'm not gonna remember which ones are actually good which is you know, mostly none of them oh three spring-loaded items I finally found the betel can't believe it I walked by it probably three times um so what does spring-loaded go on to is it probably grenades Nope. What does spring loaded go on to? Terrifying visage. So we have terrifying visage. We need serene visage for another Betel quest. Sturdy. Spring loaded. This item grants bonus move speed. So probably shoes. Unfortunately, I don't really have a lot of shoes. Yeah, it is shoes, so I'm gonna. Huh. So I can't actually hand it in. Uh, I'm gonna need to uh, get some extra spare shoes to to hand that one in. So uh, what do we have here? Is this good? Dilute algal. Nope. What about this one? Nope. Uh, I'm a little bit worried. Starting to, I'm starting to get a little bit worried. I wonder if the one in Eat Freehold eventually. Okay, this one has it, but it has insufficient cloning draw. Shoot. Like you know, we can, uh, we could potentially fill one of these with cloning draw, for sure. That you know, that's an option. But I don't have any right now. Empty and broken. Cool. You know what? I don't, I don't want to look at you ever again. Getting sick of these freaking, uh, whatchamacallem, urchins. Uh, we're starting to scrape the bottom of the barrel here. Here's one. It is ready. I'm going to go ahead and uh, recharge it just to make sure. There we go. Regenerated. Is it done now? Yeah. Insufficient cloning draw it. Shoot. Do we even have one left here? Fresh. Tank not full. Uh, this one's brackish and acidic, unfortunately, but it could still be viable. Fill with convalescence. I'm not sure how much it needs. So we'll just give it all. Tank not full. So we're gonna need more. This has a uh, homogen. Oh, you know what? I wonder if we had some homogenized convalescence in, um, you know, like multiple containers. Like if we combine them, if that eventually makes up the difference. Like, say if I had enough uh, of, you know, poured in a bunch from, from different containers, if, if that would eventually do it. Let's, let's give it a go. Um, I'm going to fill with homogenized convalescence. No. 
128. I think that that is the max it can do. Yeah, that's the max. So let's see. Is this one ready? Insufficient cloning draw. Shoot. Can we clean this thing? Okay, so we cleaned it. It's still uh, so uh, okay. That's that's not working. You clean salt convalescent cloning draught. So it's it's still it's still pretty messed up. So it doesn't have enough cloning draught. Okay. Well, that sucks. This one's empty. I think we're done. Like I don't think there's any more. <laughs> We've actually used up all of the potential regeneration tanks in Bethesda Sousa. That, uh, that should be an achievement. Oh, there's one more here. Hold on. This could be good. Oh, really? Radle? Uh, uh, uh what do you gonna call it? Rimwick? You gonna really do me like that? Can we, um, just kind of wait out this cold? Wow, they really hit hard, don't they? Okay, um, blaze tonic it is. And then I'm gonna have to herberry. They hit so hard, I hate Rimwicks. Two herberries for this like, for like just kind of pissy Rimwick for no reason. Okay, oil stain regeneration tank, empty. I think I also walked by another one. There's another one! Really? God. Where's my croco boy when I need him? There we go. I don't know why we're, we're not friends. Tank not full. Well, I mean, we could try filling this one with our remaining homogenized nonsense, but... Empty the lacquer? No, I don't. Yeah, fill it up. So it's, it's broken. Non-functional. So, um, hold on a second. Fix it spray foam. I know. It, like, it is it is actually worth it. Can I not use it? Um, can I not use fix it spray foam? I don't think I have repair. Also, I have tons of skill points that I'm not using. Let me see. I don't have repair. Let's take it real quick. There we go. Repair. Sure. Capacitor drained. Recharge. Six. Okay. Are you? You better be amazing. Okay. Perfect. So there is still one container left. And you know what? Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to tinker up a reprogrammable recoiler. And then I'm going to set it to be here. Isn't that a smart idea? Isn't that like uncharacteristically smart for me for once? Um, because like that way I don't have to go rooting around for another um, chamber. I can, I can just recoil back here in front of one. Cool, cool. I'm glad we're on the, the same page about that being a good idea. I like that idea. Okay, um, I have to recoil. We're gonna recoil now back to uh, Dugapad. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about the spring-loaded Betel quest. Uh, I just need more shoes. Surprise, Croco lad isn't around here. There is a bunch of Croco lads. Where are they all? Okay, there's one. Now, I'm a little bit concerned. I do see bloody, scaled, flawed something. It's not there, though. I wish it would tell me where it is. I know that in um, the next update, it does actually indicate a direction of, like, where is the item in question. Is it here? Nothing. Okay. 
we're gonna do is get items scaled flawless crystal boots flawless crystal mace and then um, we'll have to do a quick grab whoa whoa so there's our historic item devotions comrade trees favor got an achievement well no I didn't get an achievement I got I got a, a quest Ah, uh, <laughs> if only it was actually good it's actually pretty good um pen 12 is nothing to sneeze at that's as good as flawless crystal and 3d6 i'm pretty sure is actually better than Cri flawless crystal and four, plus 400 reputation with trees that's just hilarious that's just like really funny to me so um that's kind of cool and i think we can officially ditch the uh, uh, mag hammer because we have enough flawless um actually we want to equip that historic site historic item devotions comrade trees favor and our flawless crystal mace i thought i had another flawless crystal mace where is our third one did i lose it somehow at some point i thought i had a second flawless crystal mace I swear to god i did i didn't sell it did i that would be dang near foolish also i forgot to check about the uh crystal long swords six oh man i need six crystal long swords are you mad oh my god i'm not even close to finishing that quest how many do i have three why do i still have this flawless crystal long sword i thought i got rid of that I'm a little concerned that, um, what is happening? I think the game is crashed. It, it feels like it has crashed actually. Oh, okay. It took a second there to load. That was weird. I'm a little bit concerned, first of all, that our drone ad is di has died. And secondly, um, yeah, okay. There's, there's plenty of things left to, to fight here. Including lithos. I don't know where all of the other crocs disappeared to. How come that litho is running away from me? Let's uh, prosthetize them. What happened here? Everything is dead. There is like a bazillion croc lads here and they're all dead. That's kind of disturbing. The Dromad Caravan is of course gone. I think they died. In spite. Yeah, I mean that that, that was 100% this historic site was in spite. So, I think that's it. Oh. Well, this is some good stuff. Crystal Gauntlets. Floating a glow sphere, cl flawless crystal dagger is some absolute top-notch um, stuff right there. Okay, so oh, stairs down still. Oh my god, it's not done. Here I was thinking, oh, it's done. It's finally finished. Nope. There's something down there trying to fight me. Something, something's trying to fight me. 400 rep uh, XP. Okay, Temporal Fugue. Nice thing about Temporal Fugue at this point is um, we pretty much get surrounded. We no longer have to worry too much about, you know, are we in a good position. Okay, I've, you know, pretty well illustrated that I don't have the ability to regenerate any more limbs. We're, like, done with that. So, a little bit concerned about the prospects of getting another limb torn off. Slamming you. Okay. We're gonna do this right.
I'm gonna I'm gonna explore until uh, my temporal fugue is done. Oh, Litho. And then I'm going to go upstairs. Wait a minute, that's my my friend Litho. What is going on with Caves of Cud today? It is like a hundred percent not okay. <laughs> Oh, oh God. So we have like a slime spitting croco lad hated by the love, sorry, loved by the cabal of the battery dancer, hated by the barathermites, admired by the highly entropic beings, admired by the villagers of Deva. Um, what's our reputation with barathermite? Actually, I've already completed the quest to uh, hand in like. Uh, get the slint at the Barathermite. So, could we take a blow on uh, Barathermite? Oh, yeah, we totally could. This is actually... This guy is worthy of a love injector, I would say. And what is that on the floor? The analog lexicon of Dugapad Scientist Home. Teaches deploy turret to anyone who reads it. Well, that's cool. I don't think I really care. Um, I wonder... You know what we're going to do is I'm going to try and proselytize is unconvinced okay well that's step one step two um this unfortunately means you know putting ourselves in a vulnerable position in front of them uh a legendary historic croc is probably nothing to tangle with but i think this is actually worth making friends with there we go chat share a dram we just got a bunch of reputation with Cabal of the Battery Dancer, whoever they are, with Entropic Beings and the Villagers of Deva. But unfortunately, our reputation is still bad enough with the Cabal of the Battery Dancer that we are not going to stay friends with this Croco. So I'm going to direct them to stay there. And, uh... Are we enemies to the... Hmm. Interesting. Uh, we seem to be staying friends with this Litho. Crystal greatsword? I don't think I've ever seen a greatsword. Is this a heavy weapon? This is a long blade. Hmm. And what is this? Siphon baton. Siphon baton is okay, but it, you can, as you can see, its pen is, like, real bad. It might be worth it, because it, I think it... Uh, drains electrical charge from its target and its target equipment and transfers the charge to... The, Eh. Treat these as scrap. Disassemble. Grab stuff. Oh, that's a large slimo. Gelatinous anti prism. These these guys can be tough. Nice. That was worth four hundred XP. Always, it's a good way to, oh, Flawless Crystal Halberd. That's actually, that might actually put us over the, no, we're, we're fine. Oh, God. Yo, I'm so sick and tired of you. Shook off stun. No, you, you stay stunned and you turn into a statue, friendo. I don't want to have to fight that legendary croc, so I really kind of want to just Dine and dash. I hate that they can. He was able to charge around the wall there. So uh, we have like two friends here. This this isn't really making a lot of sense to me. Um, carrying too much to move, so we're gonna have to drop some stuff. We are carrying like just far too much stuff. Why is my Oh right, I so I'm a I'm a dang idiot, aren't I? Not not having my weapon equipped. Oh, bloodstained flawless crystal mace. Okay, there we go. So we have we have three flawless crystal mace equipped. If I find a fourth one, it might actually be worth dropping. Um, the 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 e plus three ego might be very uh, minor. Um, what is this? I don't know what a slip ring is. Plus 15 two saves versus being grabbed. Plus 5% chance to slip away from natural melee attacks. Sure. 
Uh, I'm assuming this goes on the arm, right? Yeah. We could uh, spare an arm piece. Oh, metamorphic polygel, my friend. And you know, the best thing is, is that before I had a, a reason to use one, like I was going to use it on my jacked weapon and we actually already took care of that situation. So now it's just gravy. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I should keep the, dis the combustion cell actually. I'm going to go ahead and disassemble some of these chem cells. We are actually like out of cells now. We were like super flush. Um, no longer the case. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do at this point is we're, we're almost done here in this historic site is I'm going to go to this Dugapad thing here and I'm going to re-imprint this so that um, we go here instead of uh, two floors up and then I'm going to go to grit gate um, you know what we're not going to go to grit gate because I don't have to deal with the solar cell being not charged so instead we're going to go to Deva hey is Deva our hometown did we just get reputation with our own village that would be very bizarre would it not let me have a look here Uh, no, <laughs> there are two different villagers uh, of Deva. Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> Isn't that just great? Don't you just love that? That's just, just amazing, isn't it? I love that. I love that there's multiple villagers of Deva. I love that so much. Forgotten Ruins. Anything cool here? I'm gonna go with no, since it's a uh, sw salt swamp. Yeah, oh, oh, could be wrong, actually. Chain gun, I mean, you know, that's technically very cool. Uh, in a different world, I would be very excited. And to be fair, that labor uh, security card is actually really, you know, that's, that's pretty mint, honestly. But, you know. Um, let's go ahead and replace. I, I'm, I'm officially done with the dithermo beam. So I'm going to pull out the antimatter cell and then disassemble it. it. At the end of an era, you know? High voltage arc winder. So the gun of the pistachio electrician is confirmed an arc winder. Um, accuracy high. I, yeah, eh. Ooh, these things are apparently antimatter these things give you a sorry not antimatter uh, AI microcontroller could be worth um, disassembling I wish I could disassemble oh I can disassemble the gun of the pistachio electrician yeah it's kind of tempting actually I don't know if um, the, the the people it belongs to it get kind of miffed at you for disassembling their historic item you know, if it was me, I would I would make it that they do. But then again, how do they find out? You know? It's only a crime if you get caught. Okay. So, um, let's go ahead and hand in all our books. This might be a level up. 60,000. Close to 70,000. That is a level up. And I'm inspired. Our lithofix also leveled up, which is nice. That was a full level up, which is really cool. Um, we got a plus one attribute to all of our attributes, I'm pretty sure. That was that, was that level up. Um, can we level anything up? We could level up double muscled. That's nice. We could level it up again and again and again and again. What is happening here? Okay, so we just put a bunch of points into double muscled. Um, we're at plus 10 strength. That actually technically means we're now being held back by our current weapon set. Not really a lot that can be done about that. Not a lot of room for improvement on our current weapon set. But still all the same, like that's, that's really decent. Um, let's have a quick look, as I always like to do. I would like to check out 
the various salesmen. And you know what? Um, we're running at the end of the episode here. Uh, I'll see if there's a shoe salesman here, and then we'll buy some shoes and then uh, fit them with spring-loaded metered anti-gravity boots, gravity grenade. I could probably make some kind of shoe. Hyper tractor, beam, portable wall. Eh, this is all fine and dandy. Not really what we're looking for. Also, I just realized we're at AV-17. I haven't equipped something. Yeah, I didn't equip my scaled flawless crystal boots. And you know what? That's why the Reykjavik, or not Reykjavik. <laughs> oh, Reykjavik, not Reykjavik, sorry. Um, not the, the Rimwicks. That's why they were attacking. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, not to get political, but uh, my uh, my shoes stopped the, uh, the the lizards from attacking me. Fitted with suspensors. I don't know if we need that, but I'll buy it. We have recycling already. Null ray pistol. I don't know. This sounds. This is a pistol that you you would find commonly in Australia. That's a joke that very few of you are going to find funny. But to the two, three people that do, bless you. Just, this is very good. Um, don't know what we want to... 100 drams. Uh, we'll sell a floating point, I guess. Or we could sell a mag hammer. Uh, no, it hasn't... When did we get a second mag hammer? I don't remember that. That's odd. Okay, let's do this lacquered full right dagger. That's perfect. Um, so this is our second scam sale. Okay, so we're gonna do a real quick check for a shoe salesman. Any shoe people around here? It's been a long time since I've like actually fully explored. Our s oh, we have a book binder. Oh my god, I could have been handing books to this or, or stuff to this guy at every turn and corner. Like we have just an absurd amount of money. Nothing, money just doesn't mean anything at all, and we could have been handing this guy tons of tons of uh, money. There we go. That's almost okay. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll hand in those books. It's not gonna be a lot of XP, but it'll be something. I know uh, I talked to um, a, a mutual who, who plays Cud and they said that if you have a book binder, you know, in, this, in the late stages of the game, a thing you can do is um, try and try and find as much cloning draught as you can, and then um, basically clone your bookbinder, because then they are just like end game gravy, because you can just like buy all of their books like whenever, like it's really not a not a big deal at all, and uh, end up with just a massive amount of XP. It's a good, good end, end game strat. What I really need is uh, an end game tier dromad. Cause we're, you know, I'm running into, I'm kind of running into problems. Not big problems, but like, I, you know, I can't, I can't really, I have all this money <laughs> and I can't do anything with it. Like, this stuff that I'm trading right now is just purely cheddar. You know, it's just the stuff I happen to have on me. Um, there's an entire chest at Gritgate that is, like, the equivalent of, you know, Bag's End. <laughs> Bag End is just sitting in a chest at Gritgate. Um, including jewels and all kinds of crazy stuff. And I just don't, you know, I don't, I can't do anything with it. Is it, I wonder if any of these books are worth reading. Council of Gamma Rock, I've seen occasionally. Disquisition on the Melody of Mimic. I think one of, there is a, there is actually a book that will tell you where to find, um, certain specific items. 
but I'm not sure which one Sheba Haggad is. It's probably worth reading some of these. Heirlooms of Cud, maybe. This is probably good, actually. Antelopes, bracelets. Oh, this tells you um, what kind of historic items you can expect from uh, each, like, faction. So, for instance, if I wanted to get a really cool cudgel from Fungi, which, of course, I do, then I would, you know, I would try and make make big friends with fungi. I don't know um, what to really do with that information. I'm not smart enough to, to understand that. I kind of don't want to read this thing because I think it disappears once you learn about it. I don't know. It might be actually better to hand it in as a text. It's probably worth a lot of XP. It's worth a thousand rams. We got another 8,000 rams. Or sorry, 8,000 XP. So no, we didn't. We can't actually hand this in. Lexicon of the Dugapad. Um, all right, so that's gonna do it for this episode. Another semi-long one, but you know, a lot of things accomplished. We're almost. We're level thirty-six. We can. We, we're almost at the stage where um, we could justify going to the deep jungle. Probably not yet, but you know, soonish. Um, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.